What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod for under $3,500. In this video, we do lead work. We also get started on our body work and we start fitting the dash. Kinda. Let's get going. Time for some lead work, let's go. Oh, I forgot to add, I finally have a PO box. It is in the description of this video. Send me anything you want. If I get enough stuff, I'll open it up on camera and we'll go through it, unless you don't want me to, obviously I won't. But uh, I've had people asking for a while now. I finally did it, I have a PO box. So, send me some shit. So, the first thing we need to do when you're doing lead work is you really want everything to be clean. Now, not only do I need to make it clean, but I actually have a couple of these welds that still need ground down. So I'm gonna do some grinding, then I'm gonna take some 40 grit. I'm gonna go 40 grit over it so there's no rust or paint or anywhere near where I'm gonna be doing the lead work. And then we're gonna clean it with some brake cleaner. And then uh, we'll fire the torch back up and do some lead work. So let's go. Got our lead ready. Everything's clean, brake clean, everything's good. Also clean your lead because it gets dirty. Files, these are your wooden paddles to move it around. Tinning butter, tallow, this is basically just wax. You get wax on the wood so it doesn't burn it. And uh, first thing we got to do is dip this in here, get this hot, and then you put that on there first. This is basically like a first layer and then your tin will stick to the tinning butter or your lead will stick to the tank butter, so. Let's do that. Also, get a fan going, get an attic fan going and put some shit on. Even though this is non-lead lead, there's still toxic fumes, so I will have my gloves on and also my uh, filter, or my uh, face mask. So, let's go. Okay, we got our tin down. Now, before we put our lead, you wanna get everything real clean. I took a piece of sandpaper and scuffed it all, and I'm gonna go in here with some brake cleaner, clean it all again. Really, the cleaner it is, the better. Stuff does not always stick, and it won't stick in the weirdest spots, naturally. So you wanna try and make sure it's good and clean. All right, do some lead work, baby. Um, I'm only doing lead work on the top of these fenders and then this section of the hood. The reason I'm doing it there is because that's where my, I, I want structure there and I've also done a million little cuts there and I don't love the metal work so the lead will clean it up a little bit. But the rest of it, really, you could do all this with Bondo. I just like doing lead because I know how essentially. So let's do some lead work on it and uh, we'll probably throw some Bondo on it after that. This takes forever, so let's time lapse. Okay, so I'm the best lead worker on the planet, so this just looks absolutely perfect, and it's ready for paint. That is what I would say if I was actually good at lead working, but I'm not that good. I mean, I'm not bad at it, but I'm not good. What we gotta do now is file it, and then we're gonna hit it with like some 40 grit, smooth it all out, and uh, it be ready for Bondo. So, let's file some shit. <laughs> We 
got it all sanded down. Lead works looks really good. Smoothed everything out a little bit. Still got some issues on this side, not going to lie to you, but looks good. Plenty ready for Bondo now. Like I said before, I could have did it without doing that to begin with. But it's a lead sled. You got to have some lead in this bad boy. What I'm going to do now, because I've grinded this bare metal down about five times now because it keeps surface rusting. I'm going to tape off, kind of tape off. These are quotations, by the way, not bunny ears. Quotations. Tape off some stuff. And I got some uh, Eastwood um, sealer primer. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that over my bare metal. And we're going to call this one. I'm going to go ahead and call this a day today. When I come back tomorrow, I think I'm going to finish. Ooh. I mean, that sounds great. I think I'm going to finish attaching the body to the floor. As you can see, I got a little, got a couple pieces in there, but nothing great. We still need to tie this in a little bit. Yeah, it's not moving anymore, but it's not. It's just got a couple pieces. So I'm going to get that all sheet metal in the rest of the way. I don't think I'm going to start on the back just yet um, because i don't know what i'm gonna do for a seat back there just yet either so what i think i'm gonna do is get this part done on both sides so that my floor is attached to my rocker finish welding the rocker the rest of the way and then i think we're gonna tackle the dash and maybe try and knock some of these dents out of the roof but let's paint this shit first or prime it whatever Hey, so cool story. Uh, got it all taped off, ready for primer. I go, this is the best primer you can buy. Eastwood, best canned primer you can buy. Eastwood sealer primer. I love it. It's an etching primer, so it actually grabs onto the metal. Basically makes it so you can't rust again. I was all excited. I knew I had a can of this left because Eastwood sent it to me, and guess what? It's empty because my dad used it, and he's an asshole. Now, some of you are going to say, yeah, but you stole his wheels. Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's water over the something. Mountain range. Anyways, he screwed us. So now i got to go get more uh, primer. I do have some of their roll-on primer left, but I don't want to use it just for sealer because it's actually a high build primer. So I'm just going to go to the paint store, get some rattle canned etching primer, and uh, we'll come back and prime this damn thing. I cannot believe he would steal something from me. I don't know what the world's came to, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm getting hot. I need a face mask. Check it out, super solid. Look, it can hold all 170 pounds of me. 250, either way, it's holding me fine, which is super nice. Very happy about that. Um, there was still quite a lot of play in it. I kind of had it braced, but you know, you shut the door too hard and the quarter panel wanted to walk on you. Not good stuff. Also, started doing a little bit of body work on the fenders. And I was going to go ahead and start on the hood, but I think I'm going to pop the hood off first. Get the hood on a sawhorse out of the way because I do want to start messing with the turbo. Um, I think I said this in one of the other videos, but I'm going to be running an electric cutout for the exhaust. You can hit a button and let me see if I can see there. See the little butterfly valve in there? It stays closed and your, your normal exhaust will work. Have your muffler all the way out the back. When you hit the button, it essentially opens this up and you turn your whole exhaust into, I don't know, a two foot section. So it's basically just a dump, which is super loud, pretty annoying, but it's great for rat rods. It's not great all the time. I don't love, you know, driving with earplugs in, but it's perfect for if I want to let the turbo breathe a little bit better, if I want to kind of show off a little bit, you know, make it a little loud, hit a button. I kind of love it. So we're going to get the hood off of here. I can do the body work just as easily off the car with the hood. And then we can kind of start looking at what we're going to do with the turbo system. 
I'm hoping I don't have to take the whole front clip off. I'm hoping I can just pop the hood off and do everything I need to do, but I'm not sure yet. If I, I, I can take the front clip off, obviously nothing's welded solid, but it's not easy by any means. And I kind of got my gaps and everything pretty good where it's at. So, I don't know, let's pop this hood off and hopefully I can still reach everything I need to. Okay, cool. Okay, so good news is I can get to everything I need to if I just jack it up and take the tire off but it's one of those things it might be easier just to take the front clip off i don't know we're going to tackle that the next episode i'm certainly not going to go through all that on this episode <laughs> i said i was going to start on the dash so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do a little bit more body work on this get some bondo on this while the bondo is hot i had to put it in front of the heater earlier uh so it's warmed up so i'm gonna go ahead and throw some more bondo on and then we're gonna cut up that dash and start to uh make the top of it fit i think i'm going to try and keep the s10 dash below but have all this top deck kind of like we did on this truck i made this one from scratch uh, because on these trucks they don't really have a dash but on this one i'm going to basically use half of the dash so when you're looking in and here it all just looks like a normal chevy dash but when you're actually inside of it you'll see more of the s10 so let's do a little body work and then cut up a dash Okay, I got all the Bondo on the front clip. I put a ton on. I mean, I, I caked it on there like a SEMA builder, baby. <laughs> but it's time to cut up this dash. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to cut right along that body line and try and grasp the whole thing on there. The only thing I'm worried about is big hump on the dash. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. And also, I have vents here. So I don't know how I'm going to pull that off either. Probably have to end up cutting those in the dash but i don't know let's cut some shit and start figuring some shit out i think i think i can remove let me get over here Ugh. i think i can remove a little bit more of that cushion if i have to to kind of get that down and i also need to while i'm thinking about it double check my measurements here and over there and make sure that hump isn't holding that front clip up i don't think it is or holding this section up i don't think it is but it's always good to double check before we start welding stuff permanently and then whenever i get this dash figured out uh, we're gonna probably call it an episode because the lead work took forever but after we get the dash kind of figured out i want to get all this done because this is just kind of hacky looking right now um but it is it's very structural so that's all i was going for at the time but i want to get a piece of sheet all over that but for now let's cut the hell out of this dash Check it out. It actually works perfect. I love it. Looks really good. Looks completely stock up top, which I like. My only thing is, I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know everything I need on that side yet until it runs. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to weld it in just yet. The plan will be obviously to break this down and connect all this. So we'll keep the whoop we had. Um, same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Keep this curve, come down with sheet metal, close all that up. Um, this is where I like my controls for my lights and heaters and stuff, or not heater, but lights and stuff. 
but I think I'm gonna not weld it until I get it started because just in case I need to get behind it and all this fun stuff here, uh, I don't wanna have to cut it loose. So we got it fitting good. It looks pretty damn good, but I'm not gonna weld it yet uh, until we get it running. So I'm gonna call this an episode. I think on the next episode, my green paint should be in, which it's, it's just this stock green. We'll sand all our bodywork, add a green, add a little bit of rust. I just want it to look, I just want it to look like it hasn't been extended and the hood hasn't been made custom. That's what we're gonna try on the next episode. If the paint comes in, if the paint doesn't come in, I think we're going to do our turbo work and try and fire the bad boy up. But we're gonna do all that on the next episode. Love you. Have a good day. Bye. I'm out. Thank you guys very much for watching. Very happy to get the lead work done, get the body work started. Next video, I'm going to sand this down. I should have my green paint so we can go ahead and start color matching it. The goal is to make it so that you can't see anything was cut and stretched and the hood wasn't cut in 12 pieces. So uh, I'm also really happy the way the dash is fitting. I wasn't quite sure. Every time you put a body on top, stuff moves, stuff kind of changes. And even though it's the same dash I cut out, I didn't think that it was gonna fit in there as well as it did. So I'm very happy about that. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace.